Hello everyone! I figured I would make this video while Sylvia is taking her nap. We'll see if she naps the whole time, but I've had a lot of people asking about what Sylvia's name means and also how we chose it, so I figured I would make two videos I think I'm going to do of what her name meanings are and then another video about how we chose it if you are curious. So this one I wanted to share about her name meanings. Um, if you see me looking kind of like in this direction it's because I have my comp computer right behind the camera um, so I could read off all the meanings. Um, when we chose it I made an entire spreadsheet <laughs> of names because that's how I do life and yeah I figured I'd just get right into it. Okay so Sylvie not plan this part very well. Okay. So Sylvie comes from, it's from Sylvia, but also from other things, but I feel like that's the most common like derivative. Um, I just liked Sylvie more than Sylvia. And her name, her first name means spirit of the forest and wild. In Norwegian, it means the strength of the sun, which I do have Norwegian ancestors, so that was important to me. Sylvan was the Roman god of the forest, and the mythological god of the forest was associated with the figure also known as Sylvanus, and I felt like she just was going to be such a forest baby because of our like living situation when we got pregnant we were really spending a lot of time in the forest and we intend to spend a lot more time in the forest with her so I loved that um, also I found out that in Lu in one of Lewis Carroll's lesser known novels Sylvie and Bruno so Lady Sylvie is the princess of fairyland and I really wasn't into fairies before getting pregnant, but when pregnant with her, is like, I just felt like she was going to want, like, lots of fairy things rather than, like, princess things, I guess might be a pretty common, like, baby girl connection. Like, instead, it was, like, all about fairies. So we had a fairy tea party even for one of her baby showers. Um, and then I also learned that uh, the Greek... It's a derivative from the Greek word sylph, which means butterfly, which again, like butterflies and fairies, I feel are very tied together, and I, I loved seeing all these different connections to the forest, fairies, and butterflies, so yeah, if you want to get her a gift, <laughs> if you get her something with one of those three themes, you're probably onto it. Um, the origin of her first name is Latin and Norwegian, so like I mentioned before, my mom's side of the family has a lot of Norwegian roots. Um, I also learned like really close to when she was born, like this name didn't come through until much later in my pregnancy, but probably like the day or two before she was born, I came across silphy so instead of a v it's with a ph which is derived from the word sylph and they are an otherworldly elemental spirit of air who possesses an exquisite grace and is imbued by nature with magic it also means that she's unpredictable adorable and confident and yeah this kind of like confirmed to me that her name was probably going to be Sylvie because when she was born there was a hurricane coming and it literally felt like a complete whirlwind and yeah so we didn't have it set until after we met her but um yeah I had a very strong feeling that that was what she was going to be named and that turned out to be her name so when I did look up her names I also looked up the numerology for a lot of the ones that were like resonating before she was born so if you care about that I'm going to share that one now 
um, and the ruling planet was mentioned in the page that I looked at for the numerology so I thought that was really cool since I am so into astrology so the sun is the ruling planet for her first name and I actually wanted that, which I'll go into in the video <laughs> about um, how we chose her name. And then her numerology for her um, name, I thought I put a detail on which thing which meant what. So it's one, six, and four. I have to go to this link. So... Okay, this looks so different than on my phone. I have to type it in again, I guess. Okay, so Sylvie, I'm on this page called astrologyfutureye.com, and then they have like this calculator for um, name numerology. If you're interested so her destiny number which is her expression number is one and according to Chilean numerology a destiny number um, is ruled number one is ruled by the Sun and it means leader independent and creative her soul urge number which is the heart's desire number which describes her inner potentials and inner resources is six, which means responsible and desire for luxury, which when I was pregnant, I felt like so many like bougie things coming through that was not really <laughs> like me. And I felt like she's, she's going to appreciate luxurious things. So I liked that that number was aligned with this name. Um, her dream number, which is a personality number which describes the outer personality and her first impression to others, is four, which means impressive as disciplined and hardworking. What's really interesting is that in astrology, her rising sign is a Capricorn, and literally people constantly like make comments about how serious <laughs> she always looks in pictures and stuff, and it it's definitely aligned to this number four uh, dream number and like what the outside looks like. So I think I'll make a separate video for her middle name just for like the amount of time that it took me to go through all of this. So I'll, I'll share that one next. Um, but I'm curious if you know any other meanings for the name Sylvie or any other just information that you want to share. I would love for you to share it with us because I... I would love to like tell her all these stories and this stuff about her name as she grows up so because I feel like a name holds so much more power than we let on to these days I feel like it's kind of a an old time like thought process but it's like your title like of your entire life <laughs> you rarely change it and <clears throat> it just means so much to me and I guess, like, I did have in my notes that um, we call her Sylph as her nickname. So I call her Sylvie Sylph as her nickname, and that has really stuck. And as you heard Sylph uh, description earlier, there's something else I was going to say. I don't remember what it was now. But, oh, um, the only other person person, I guess you could call it, that we had ever known named Sylvie was actually on the TV show Loki on Disney. Um, and like most of the time when there was like another connection to another person or character, we like that knocked out our, our desire for like naming our daughter after anything that was like connected to something. But we actually liked that character enough that we were like, Ah, that's okay. Like <laughs> we actually thought she was a pretty awesome um, character in that show. And uh, if you're not familiar with Loki, it's like she was the female version of Loki, which Loki is a Norwegian or, or Norse god of like mischief and like yeah. There's just a lot tied to it. She's had 
a spirit animal fox come through and gosh if you're like not woo and I'm you're watching this video sorry like this is how I, we <laughs> we do things in my house but anyways the fox is very like mischievous and cunning and just like creative in in guys and I feel like she's probably she's probably gonna be that way and I'm like ready for it and Sylvie was like the female version of that in that show so I just like felt like it was so aligned with all the things that um, we were expecting based on just like messages um, from nature that we were receiving okay so that's it for her first name I'll make a second video about her middle name and then how we chose it too goodbye <laughs>